playing cards. And I had to sign her uh, a couple of weeks ago that she was around a bicycle, supposed to go, go on living, living to see her cousin John Michael Matthew. She's around a bicycle to see him. Family, the best way we can get through this is put our total trust in the Lord. He will get us through. He didn't promise us that life would be easy. He didn't promise us that roads would always be red. He didn't promise us that the sky will always be blue. He didn't promise us sunshine without rain. He didn't promise healing without pain. But he promised us that he would never leave us, nor will he forsake us. So that being said, I thank God for her life and her legacy. And I encourage you, family, brother. Sisters, sons, especially. Hold on to her legs. Keep those good memories in your heart. You always have mom with you. All the reflects on the great thing that she had done. Amen for you. And I'm not just talking about all I have to say about her. I just, just again thank God for her. But God give me a word today that I believe will help us. We'll just receive it. Allow it to penetrate our hearts. And realize how much that we really need Him in times like these. I want to draw some and they from. Psalm 46. Verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and our strength. The very brother of him in trouble. Therefore, we not be feared. Though the earth be removed, and all over the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. And though we may in the roar, we trouble. Though the mountain sea was swelling down on the sea lot. But down the river, the stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. I want to use for thought today God is my everything. Because of God is my everything. Let us pray. Most holy and all, eternal wise God, Lord God, is this preaching time. And God, I realize without you, I am absolutely nothing. So I pray right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Oh God, the preaching power. Anoint me, God, with your Holy Ghost and all things power. And I'm preaching power, clarity, and conviction. That somebody, God, may see you on this day. Come out what must I do to have eternal life. Now, God, in the word of my life, in the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen, amen. Amen. Y'all think about, about 15 minutes and I'll. We got everything. But God is our everything. I know you love mother. But God loved her best. And then took her home. I do believe to be with him. But I'm encouraging you today, amen, as the song said a few minutes ago, just hold on. God's unchanging 
change your name. Because God is your help. God is your refuge. God is your strength. The strength of the Lord is the joy of my life. And I believe if anyone made it in that your mother made it in. So, so there we are left behind. She has fought a good fight. She has finished her course. And she has kept the faith. And the Bible says, Henceforth, there's a plan of righteous laid up for her that the righteous judge would give her at that day. Yeah. But, but the good part, not only Pastor Pat, but he given to her, but the good part, he said, but, but, but also, if he had given to those that love his appearance. And if we love God's appearance, amen, we can have, amen, that same, amen, hope that we know that when we leave this place, that we know we can be with God, which is far better. Paul put it this way. Paul said in Philippians 1 and 21, for me to live is Christ, and for me to die is gain. So if you live for Christ, stand here. When you die and leave this old mean, crooked earth world that we live in today, you can be with God for all eternity. So I'm encouraging you today, if God God is not your everything. Allow God today to come into your life. Allow God today to be your everything. And God will take care of you. God will put you in a secret place. I will dwell in the secret place of the most high. And God is my refuge. And God will not trust. You just got to trust God in the midst of what you're going through. I know you're going through even some dark times right now. But no matter what happens, Thousand, which God saints, not God hates, but 
Not made with these hands, but made in eternal. 
and they that dwell with them. Now let me know that everything belongs to God, but it's up to you to accept God. We say, I will not call God, we own you, but whosoever will, let him come. And I'll be his father, he'll be my son and my daughter. Come on and give God some praise. Give him the glory of his heart. And hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank <laughs> you. 